Okay, hello, it's uh, Michael here from uh, Mac Photography. Today I've got something a little bit different. Um, I have bought a Sony personal audio system. It's called a CD boombox with USB player. Um, the model number is ZS-PS55B. Um, on the box here it says it's a CD boombox with USB player, like I said. It's got a DAB and DAB plus radio, which is the main reason I bought it. I really wanted to uh, use something with a, a digital tuner. Um, and I also believe that this has batteries in it that uh, last around eight hours, but um, I'm yet to test that. Um, I'll get back, I'll put in the comments if that's wrong, but um, eight hours sounds pretty good. Um, what I've bought here is a item from the Sony Seconds in Australia. Um, it's an eBay shop. And um, sometimes you can get things cheap, um, especially when eBay is throwing in 20% off, which was great. So I got this for about $75, I think it was Australian, which is probably like uh, 55 American, I guess, US dollars. Um, so good price for a little unit. Hopefully it sounds good. I haven't heard one, I haven't seen one, never touched one. Just bought it online, just um, sort of, I saw digital radio, which is what I really want, because there's a few stations that um, that I really like on the digital bandwidth. Um, and I'm sick of kind of using my phone and data and all that. Um, so yeah, with digital radio, should be pretty good. So let's open it up. <laughs> Said it was a Sony Seconds. It's still got um, what, what does it come with? It's it's still got the warranty and everything is what I was going to say. So um, it's got the power cord. Thank God it doesn't have an adapter. So sick of adapters. Um, it's got instruction manual, which I may need to refer to, may not, depending how easy or not this is to use. I am quite tech savvy, so luckily most things I don't have to look at a manual. But you never know, there might be some hidden features that are hidden away that you can't find. So this is the unit and the CD player pops open, which isn't good. Okay, so it pops down. So, what do we got here? Um, We've got the Sony uh, digital radio. Um, it's got a USB port on the front. Um, the unit's weight is, it does have a carry handle too, I believe. Let me show you. So it's got a carry handle like that. Not too bad. This isn't very heavy, I would say. I mean, it's heavy enough. Um, it's probably about two kilos, three kilos maybe. No, nah, probably two I'd say. Um, maybe just over two. Uh, it's, it's, um, it's not too large. It doesn't actually feel very, very well made. It feels kind of plasticky. It's got this great big thing in the back. Ooh, it's got great big thing for batteries, which is not good. I was hoping that it had rechargeables in it which is the way I imagined it when I read it. When it said eight hours playback on battery, so I guess they were talking about eight hours with, um, C size. So it takes six C size batteries for, I think it's around eight hours playback. Would have been nice if it had a battery in it. Would have been really nice. But anyway, I guess you can't have everything. Um, was pretty cheap. I'm guessing it's not going to turn on without power. All right, so that's that. Uh, two speakers at the front. Um, it's got these mode buttons here, CD, USB, digital radio, FM, and audio in. It's got an audio in there, 3.5 mil jack. It's got a headphone jack, 3.5 mil, and it's got your USB in. Um, I'm not sure what sort of 
um, compression formats for the USB it would be compatible with, but I'm guessing just all the common ones. Um, nothing too fancy. It's got, also got a CD player. Don't know who uses um, CDs anymore. I guess there are some people out there who might have CDs. Um, I think it's a lot easier just to put on a thumb drive. You can get a hell of a lot on a thumb drive and plug it into the USB port. So that is that. Um, yeah, not very big. Again, there's my iPhone 6. No, it's a bit dark. Sorry about that. Um, if I bring it in closer, the aperture might adjust, might focus. Okay, yeah, so there you go. iPhone 6 on top. Um, so you can see it's about two iPhone 6s wide and about one and a half iPhone 6s long, um, long and about an iPhone 6 high, if you're wondering how big it is. Not big, it's meant to be a portable unit, um, takes the batteries, and um, yeah, let's um, plug it in and see how this baby sounds. Okay, so I've got it running. Um, what can I say about it? Let me turn it down a bit. Um, well, first of all, it's, it doesn't sound good. I'll tell, that, tell you that straight off the bat. Um, the sound is, well, for me, I'm, I kind of like good quality sound, and I think most people have come to expect that now. now. Um, you know, even cheap headphones that come with your smartphones these days, they sound pretty good. And um, when something sounds not so great, it's very noticeable. And this does not sound so great. <laughs> it's uh, it's quite tinny. There's there's no bass to the sound. Um, I can't find. I haven't looked right into it, but I can't see any um, sort of adjustment for sound qualities um, like bass or treble or. Um, loudness control or anything it seems to be just like the sound you get is the sound that's the way it is um, there is volume of course um, I'm not going to try and demonstrate the sound to you through my lav mic that I'm using um, I don't think that's going to do any any good uh, but I will say the sound for music is rubbish um, it's not good um, if you're going to use this to listen to talkback radio, it's probably perfectly fine. Um, like listening to the news. Yeah, it's fine. Put it over to music. And just sounds tinny and yucky. And I don't like it. Um, I haven't tried any headphones yet. Um, but I will. Uh... So probably, yeah, I'm sure if you plug headphones in, it's going to be fine. Um, uh, let me try that. I'll plug some headphones in and I'll, I'll let you know if the sound is wonderful or if it's rubbish still. <laughs> uh, you would expect that the sound would become much better with headphones. Let's get some music. Okay, I can confirm that the music from the headphone jack, the sound quality is beautiful. Um, just the way I like it. Um, good amount of bass and um, very, very clear. The sound through these speakers though, sounds absolute crap. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, I guess that's what happens when you buy things from the net without going into a shop and listening and uh, seeing how they do run. Um, that's a risk you take. But still, um, maybe I'll pack this one up and give it to my mum. Uh, she likes to listen to talkback radio, um, and I'm sure it'll be good for her. Um, but for me, this is uh, definitely not good. I would say that if you've got yourself a set of Bluetooth speakers and uh, paired it up with your smartphone and use one of the digital radio apps on your smartphone, you'd be far better off than trying to go and get... Um, quality digital radio sound through the speakers on this because this sounds terrible unfortunately 
Um, I was kind of hoping that it would sound all right. I think they retail at around $160 Australian, which is quite dear. I mean, I'd be really pissed if I'd bought this at full price. Um, yeah, really pissed. But um, I guess for 70 bucks, it's okay. Mother's Day's coming up. I'll put it away back in the box and give it to my mom. And she can listen to her talk back radio. Um, that's just people talking. Um, yeah, but for music, this is definitely crap. <laughs> Quite unfortunate. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it was a bit fiddly to set up. I had to go in and scan the digital networks. And then when you've actually scanned them, when you're going through each like changing station, you actually have to wait for it to tune into that station before you can go on to the next station, which is really slow. Um, so if you, so like I'm on this one now, like if I go to the next station, it says the edge, but if I wanted to skip that, oh, actually maybe it was just the first time around it did that. Yeah, it must have been just the first time around, but it was absolutely painful. Like every time I'd turn on one station, like this one, Buddha, um, to go to the next one, say I didn't want that one, I wanted to go to the next one, it would not go, oh, actually it's doing it now. See, it's not changing. You'd think I would go up like one, two, three, four, five stations. I've already done the scan, but it doesn't. It's sort of waiting to tune into the next one. Like once it starts that tuning process, it kind of locks into it. If you keep tapping it like that, you can sort of run through them all until you find the one you want. But once you, it starts flashing and it's tuning in, you're kind of locked in until it gets a reception which can take a few seconds. So yeah, that's how that operates. Um, so yeah, in summary, I'll say rubbish for music. Um, probably good if you wanted to listen to music with headphones, um, but then there's probably smaller digital radios out there than this, um, that are neater. Um, it's probably good if you want to listen to talkback, um, talkback radio. Um, I would say pretty pointless using the CD drive and the thumb drive to listen to music. Um, don't know why you'd bother. I'll crank it up. I guess one good thing about it is that at maximum volume it doesn't distort like most just about every other radio out there or boombox um, it's still clear and it's quite it's loud but it's not you know it doesn't have the bass the sound qualities I like anyway um, yeah so would I recommend it uh, not for music recommend it for talkback radio um, it's a good size unit um, it's cheap I guess and all I got it for cheap. And uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Um, I will try and review more things in the future as there's not much, uh, by the way, of photography coming out at the moment. And yeah, have a good day. Catch you later.